Welcome to another video of Joyroot Jojo. In today's video, we are going to check about preset security policies. Before we discuss preset security policies, we will just recap whatever we have learned about security and cloud-based security services that Microsoft offers to us. See, there are mainly three cloud-based security services are there. First one is Exchange Online Protection and the other two are Defender for Office 365, Plan 1 and Plan 2. So these three are the main cloud-based security services. In among these three, Exchange Online Protection. The core protection of Office 365 is based on EOP. And EOP represents any, in any subscription where Exchange Online Mailbox exists, which means whatever subscription you have this is the fundamental eop is the fundamental security service uh, that of microsoft 365 offered to us defender for office 365 plan 1 and plan 2 are advanced level of security apart from the fundamental if you required some uh, advanced level of security you can go with defender for office 365 plan 1 and plan 2 in the security.microsoft.com this is the Defender Microsoft Defender portal. In the portal, under policies and rules, threat policies, you could see preset -secu pre security policies. So before moving to that, let me just explain about anti phishing, anti spam, and anti malware. These three are the policies that we get as part of Exchange Online Protection. So as I told you, Exchange Online Protection is the fundamental and core protection that offered by uh, Office 365. So, anti-phishing, anti-spam, anti-malware, these three we, is part of EOP. Safe attachment and safe links are part of Defender for Office 365 Plan 1 and Plan 2. This is the basic idea about security services that Microsoft offers to us. All right, now let's move on preset security policies. And let me tell you one more thing, even if it is anti-spam, anti-phishing or anti-malware, every organization has built-in anti-spam policy named default that has the following properties. So not this is not only applicable for anti-spam, this is applicable for anti-malware, anti-phishing and uh, even for safe attachment and safe link. There are some default policy for all these five. It has got the following properties. This policy, which is default policy, you cannot delete the default policy. These default policies, whichever shows here, you cannot delete this default policy. This policy is automatically applied to all recipient in the organization and you cannot turn it off. All these default policies cannot be turned off and this is applicable to all the recipient in our organization. This policy is always applied last. So priority value is least for this. If you have some customized policy or if you have applied some preset security policies that will take precedence on default policies. This policy is always applied last. The priority value is lowest and you cannot change it. The higher precedence is always for the customized policies and preset security policies. Now let us discuss about preset security policies. First of all, let us understand what is preset security policies. We could say that preset security policies in Microsoft 365 are predefined security configuration, something something predefined and provided by Microsoft to help organization to quickly implement recommended security settings for protecting against email threats like phishing, malware, and spam. These are the recommended settings and the predefined security configuration that Microsoft provide all the organization so this is easy for us to implement it unless if you are not sure about about the customized policy how you have to create some customized policy what should be included in that then easy way is to go with preset security policies so let's go with preset security policies here under preset security policy we have three options standard protection I, we have to select either standard protection or strict protection so what is the difference between standard protection and strict protection it has balanced action for malicious content balanced handling for bulk content attached and linked protection with safe links and safe attachment 
when it comes to strict protection it is more aggressive action on malicious mail tighter controls over bulk sender more aggressive on machine learning so that is strict protection all right so that is the difference between standard protection and strict protection so let us configure uh, first let us configure standard protection we have to turn it on here apply standard protection apply exchange online protection let us keep it for all recipient or you can specify some particular group if you want it if you are not sure how it is going to behave in your environment you can uh, create a test group and uh, you can apply that to that particular test group uh, i'm going with all recipient the same for defender for office 365 protection you can go with all recipient or you can specify the recipient group now when we come to um, impersonation protection um let's click on next we have protect custom uses this is normally uh we add all our board members or or the vip uses here so that if somebody is pretending to send a mail on behalf of those uses uh, like uh, the ceo of the company or the general manager of the company on behalf of them uh, pretending that as a general manager of pretending as a general manager of your organization if someone want, someone try, trying to send a mail this will block that so all the vip users you can add it here and you can uh, protect those users so in my case i am not adding anybody and the same here add domains to flag when impersonation attacks here you can add your own domain and uh, all the suppliers and partners you can add it here the regular emails the day to day activities whomever you are uh, send and receive the mail on day to day activities you can add all that domain here so if somebody is trying to pretend or impersonate by attackers that will block here same for the trusted center and domain you can add it here policy more mode i select as turn on policy when finished click next review and confirm all right so the standard protection got enabled now so if you check it out it is a uh, standard protection is on now if we come back to the anti phishing policy here you could see a standard preset security policy and it is on so this has inherited from here when we have enabled this preset preset security policies for the standard protection or uh, this is uh, it start reflecting on all these five policies even in the anti spam policies also you could see standard preset security policy these three are the default policies and this act as a uh, standard preset security policy all right now let's go back again to the preset security policies and we are going to enable strict protection so consider if we have enabled both standard protection and strict protection so the strict protection will take precedence so whoever is member of strict protection if consider uh, one particular group is is member of both standard protection and strict protection in that case strict protection will take precedence over standard protection all right here i am going to take a specified uh, group i don't have a group so i select a user here so here when what what will happen abir is member of both standard protection and strict protection so the precedence for the for the case of abir's mailbox strict protection will take care so if you go back to these uh, policies you could see one more policy here strict preset security policy we have standard and strict so that's it that's all about preset security policies we will meet you in the other video till then goodbye